Hello people, today I'm doing something a little off the wall with my eyes. I'm not really going anywhere or clubbing or anything crazy like that, but if I were, I might want to do something a little bit more expressive um, with my eyes. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of eyeliner art. I have all of my makeup on, my blush, my, you know, my foundation, my primers. Um, my eyeshadow primer. I'm starting out with a little bit of the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland palette with um, Cheshire just on my lower lid. And I'm going to go in with a real light layer of Curiouser just in the crease here and then down into the corner, kind of making the sideways V on both eyes. Now, I'm not trying to make too much drama with color on the eyelids because all of the drama is going to be coming from the eyeliner. I'm going to be taking an eyeliner that is in a bright color. I showed you a couple of days ago that I got some eyeliners um, that I ordered online from Amazon.com. They're Italia and I am really liking them. Um, you want to start with a sharp, sharp one. This one isn't sharp so I'm going to sharpen it. It's very important that they be sharp so they make a nice defined line and I'm not going to be doing anything crazy that comes off the eye and is you know very bold and flowery um, nothing that would look like Mardi Gras or Carnival I'm just going to be doing something simple and tight on the eye but just a little bit unique now normally you would just line around the eye but I'm going to be making some little circles I'm going to go right in the corner right beneath the tear duct I'm going to draw a tiny tiny little circle maybe a little bit bigger than tiny can you see that? And then I'm going to clean up any little smudges. Normally I would do this with a Q-tip. I'm going to draw straight across as close to the eyelid or eyelashes rather. as possible going just slightly beyond the eye and now <clears throat> I'm going to come down just a little bit and at the end of that line that you make when you come down, I guess I should draw it a little bit more defined so you can see it. I'm going to draw another little circle. I'm going to grab my sharpener so that I can sharpen it a little bit, bit, a little bit better. Peter pecked pipe the pickled peppers, <laughs> and then it's sharp again. Go ahead and really get in there, and make it a circle.
It's almost a teardrop. Can you see that? Okay. But I'm not done. I am going to go under the eye. Going to join them. Going to increase this circle. by swirling it. <clears throat> and now I'm just going to kind of come into my eyelash line. I'm going to make little check marks right where my eyelashes are. Not very long ones, just little tiny ones. Not to actually make my eyelashes look longer, but to just kind of fill them in. I haven't done my mascara. Normally I would curl my eyelashes beforehand, but I skipped that step. I'll curl them now. Go ahead and swipe some mascara on and move to the next eye. Now I have a product called Shellac that holds things in place and since this is a very creamy mascara or eyeliner rather I might go ahead and apply it so that it doesn't smudge just in case I rub an eye or do something silly like that if I were out and about and to prevent it from rubbing on my clothing. I'm sorry I'm putting that right in front of your lens there where you see me. So how does that look? It's, it's really small, it's really subtle. There are some crazier things that we can do and we will be doing um, tomorrow <laughs> as I show you more. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this side now, which I'll make a circle here. And draw my line. Add my little teardrop shape. Now you might have to go like that, kind of tighten your skin around your eye. And just compare from side to side because you don't want it to be bigger on one side or go out further to one side than it does on the other. Balance and symmetry is very important, not just in facial structure, but in applying makeup because you can fake fa facial structure. I'm going to go across here and then make my little patches. As though I had 
more eyelashes down here than I really do. Kind of breaking up the line. I'm going to look up so you can see what it looks like. And I'm going to show you from side to side what that looks like. Give the eyelashes a little curl on this side. And a little mascara. Now that's a simple thing to do. It is slightly Mardi Gras-ish if you don't want to do anything really super over the line. Um, there are a few crazier things you can do with multiple colors of eyeliners or even um, cream eyeshadows. or grease makeup, stage makeup, that will make it more theatrical, if that's something you want to do. If you're participating in something that is um, Mardi Gras for this time of year. so. That right there is kind of the look. You can see the eye, eye lids are lighter because the look that I want to really have people drawn to is the eyeliner. So that's simple and easy to do, just takes a few minutes. You can really let your imagination run wild and do anything, even, you know, draw a flower shape around your eye, fill it in with your powdered shadows, um, do fireworks, put dots at the end. Um, you could go crazy. You could even create a Mardi Gras mask on your face out of eyeshadows instead of wearing a mask that you purchase. Um, there are so many things that you could do that are fun. Just think of them, be creative, use your imagination, and uh, during this time of year if you participate in anything that is Mardi Gras or Carnival, have fun and enjoy yourself. So thank you so much my people for viewing this video today and for stopping by Miss Ditt's The Beautiful Life. Sorry, I'm crooked. There, let me straighten up. And uh, I will see you soon. Bye now.